Okay, so for this second video, I decided I would do this on the D on the DS because I I had the team I wanted to use on the DS, so I figured why not? It's got better graphics than Showdown, and I get I guess yeah, and I figured why not? I like I like Wi-Fi Wi-Fi more anyway more than Showdown. Showdown is just somewhere you go when. You don't have anyone else to battle, but then again, this these battles were off of battle spot, so. But you can only you can only bring four four Pokemon in that. And spoilers, we're doing VGC this time. Um, but anyways, first Pokemon we got here is a Calm Mind Magnet Protect type of Coco with Thunderbolt, as and Gleam, Calm Mind obviously, and then Protect. We got a Focus Ash along with Nine Tails with Moonblast, Blizzard, Protect, and a Roar Veil. A an Impish Celesteela with Flamethrower, Leech Seed, Protect, and Heavy Slam. This Celesteela was traded to me, so I would have gotten um, with Relax, but it wasn't my choice. And I believe it still hit two KOs, Ferrothorn, anyway. Which is what this is mainly here for. Or, Flamethrower is mainly, mainly there for. Um, next up is an Adamant, Figgy Berry, Incineroar with U Turn, Knock Off, Fake Out, and Flare Blitz. Um, I, figured, I figured Figgy, Figgy Berry would help, really help out considering Hail Blitz, Flare Blitz would really wear you down, plus the damage you take from attacks anyway. Um,. And I, um, a friend of mine is the same friend as the last video. He said he likes to say he doesn't want to use Incineroar because it's ugly, but I don't really care. I'm not. I'm not using Incineroar because other people are using it. I'm using it because well, one, I saw it in Smash, and I figured I would try it too. Um, I knew it was good from the start, and three, it, I think it's just a good good Pokemon in general, and do and I do like it, as a Pokemon, the only Pokemon I really don't like, or hate, I should say, is Jinx, because I don't want to get into that, actually, so I'll just move on to the next Pokemon, and he says only try hard to do, use this thing, but I'm about to prove him wrong with this with this next one, and that is a Wartarium Z Superior, with a hasty nature, taunt, protect, aqua tail, and leaf storm, with this, you basically, well, this is a tech, pretty much, because of Oko's Incineroar after Intimidated, because of Conterry. So, I figured this is a pretty cool tech, and you guys see, will see that this is, that, that this really helped out. But, it didn't win me the battle, but it didn't win me other battles. So, I guess that's a bad, bad example. I'm just going, I'm just going out with the first three battles I get. Um, for this video, I should say. And finally is a Jolly Salamence, or Mega Salamence, with Protect, Dragon Dance, uh, Roost, and Double Edge. Same thing with Incineroar, I want the recovery. And plus, Salamence really only needs a Flying Stab anyway. You really, you really rarely see Dragon, cl Dragon Stab on Salamence and Doubles. So, that's the team, let's get into the battles. Is. Uh, here we are. Open purposes of recorder. It wants to load. Yeah, this is not one of the battles, but no, that's for something else. Up, up against the, up against his first guy. Girl, I have no idea what that is supposed to say, but yeah, obviously, obviously she got she kind of got counterlaid, but that's not to say how this battle played out. Uh, um, as you guys will see. Um, so yeah, um, I decided to lead off with my superior and only nine tails, kind of predicting that. Um, 
Plus the one with Nine Tails was really good as a lead in general. And Incineroar was a thing that she very could have easily led. So that wasn't hard to protect at all. Um, I set the, I go ahead and set up the hail, and and he shows off the intimidate. I get the plus one attack, but and I go for she withdraws my with my loading, not wanting to take a leaf storm into the thunderous, and I go ahead and protect nine tails, protecting him to fake out. Because these students do commonly carry Focus Sash. And I do get the protection right. I go for the Watering Z turn 1. Because it's really only there for Incineroars and Landorus. Um, and Stack Attack and Heatran actually. This thing is actually really useful. Um, and as you guys will see. This is like. he's uh, She's obviously got some. Defense investment. This is more. This is looking more like a defensive incineroar more than offensive one, but it still does a does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, gets a figgy berry, and I take the hail damage. Thunderous takes the hail tail damage. So on into incineroar. Um, incineroar is gonna go ahead and retro because she she knows I have the aqua tail now. Goes into my load of predicting that, but and she didn't really think of a leaf storm. I do do, do end up doing that just because I didn't want to over predict or anything, and I go for the blizzard with with my nine tails as it brings her down to under hat down to about twenty five percent. Gets the eye of Papa Berry. You don't see that too often, but I um I sure I'm sure she had her reasons. Or maybe she didn't have another item. She goes for the Sludge Bomb into my Ninetales. Because she does see that as an obvious threat. And it is. And unfortunately she does get the poison right there. So that's a little bit of a hack on her end. But I mean, it's how how, uh, how the game goes. Uh, like I said in, the, said in the last video. I don't I don't think she was going for that. And if she was then oh well. I go into my top of Coco, and I, um, and he, and I pretty much just go for Calm Mind, protecting the my, the my load to protect to protect. And I knew I was gonna take another, take a Sludge Bomb from the Thunderous since I know it's not not like Choice Specs or anything. Um, but considering the Sludge Bomb did over half, it looked to be modest. I was guessing I didn't really calc it or anything. I go for the Leaf Storm into Thunderous just because I wanted to get some some damage off. I wanted to get the plus two. And Leaf Storm is how I was going to do it. Because it pretty much guaranteed the Oko on my load. If it was like max special defense. But even that it probably would have oko to be honest. Because I am max special attack. Um... I, uh, she goes for the switch with my Lodic into Incineroar, pretty much just sacking it off because it does die to the Thunderbolt. You will see it in a few minutes, a few seconds. I will say minutes. Um, gives me another plus one, so I don't really agree with that. She just goes for Tech with Thunderous. Um, and, uh, yeah. I will go. I did go for the Leaf Storm and the Thunderous. I wasn't double targeting my loaded because I didn't really see a need for that. Um. And uh, yeah, and finally the Dragonite comes out, which is this thing is a problem to be honest, and especially for me, she goes for the double protect with Thunderous. I don't really see why, but it worked out for her. So, Extreme Speed comes out here, and she kills off my top of Coco. And I go for Taunt, not wanting him to Dragon Dance on me. Because if he did, or she did, I lost on the spot. I go into Salamence, which is my last Pokemon, I believe. Uh, yeah, that was my last Pokemon. 
Um, I get the Intimidate off, and the Dragonite just wins, to be honest. She switches out, making the right play. And I kill off a Thunderous with a Double Edge. And, or no, I I protect Salamence, and she, and I go for an Aqua Tail under the Thunderous and kill it off. That's, that's what happened. On... Um, she gets leftovers with my, with my Lodic, and I, and, um, she go, and I really should have taunted here, as you guys will see, but I didn't expect her to do what she did, and that is going to be, and you'll see in a few, sec few seconds, that is going to be a protect my Lodic, and then I double edge, and and I double target the the Dragonite with double edge and taunt or not double taunt double edge and aqua tail. And I really didn't think she was going to tailwind anyway. I didn't really think she would have it. One and two. She's I showed off the taunt. Um Um so that was pr what pretty much just lost me the game unless I got got a ton of protects and somehow lived in ice beam which she did I believe she showed um if not spoilers I guess but uh, but I go with I go for she goes for the extreme speed shows out the ice beam which she didn't and that's what pretty much yeah, lost me the game um I believe I go for protect here but it didn't matter even I was just trying to stall out tailwind turns and maybe there was somehow I can somehow I can win. I doubt it though. But I probably should have just forfeited it even though because I knew I lost, but I I just wanted to see if I can get that whole protect. Maybe I can maybe I could have double edged into my Lodic. Killed off killed that off. Because I was adamant or not an adamant, I have two silence, one is adamant, one is jolly. I I kill off the Milotic, and then I guess she doesn't hit me, and then I guess she doesn't kill me with Dragonite. But on the next battles, anyway. So this next one was Mona Poison. Poison. Yeah, I did bring the Illumin Nine Tails because she didn't, or he didn't really have a switch into Illumin Nine Tails clicking bit Blizzard, even though it didn't really matter. Because I was only gonna get it off once. Um so wait, that was the wrong button. I apologize about that. I'm still kinda new this you should probably know, obviously. Um just go ahead and pop this out. Just make my phone easier, easier to hold. But anyways, let's just get into the battle. Um, I brought Incineroar because I didn't see another option. Salamence was really I, really this entire team was be, was based off the fact that I didn't think I had another option. So I'm just gonna click the play, the play button here. Um, as I am facing off against Carlos. Um, he leaves off with the Slazzle and the Weezing. I'm not really sure why. Also, he had a Needle King, which is really good against my team. I didn't know why he, he didn't bring that. I guess because it's all the steel and he didn't have coverage, but he still has Slazzle, and that was one Mon, or, or one Pokemon. I, just, I get the Intimidate off, doesn't really matter. Um, goes for protects with Salazzle. I'm I'm guessing she was he, or he was probably predicting a fake out. I didn't. I don't think I went for fake out into. No, I didn't. I went for knockoff. Um. I just clicked Blizzard turn one, and and yeah. Um, he goes for Sludge Bomb into the Nine Tails, so he has a little bit of speed, speed and wheezing. Fortunately, gets another poison like the like I battle before. Um. Um. Yeah. I think I went for. I think I just went for knockoff into that. 
Um, I guess my nine tails dies to po goes ahead and dies to poison, and then. And then, um, what did I do next turn? I guess we'll find out. Um, did I go for knockoff into, into wheezing that turn? I don't know. Um, I go for particular sounds just in case she um, just in case he was faster, because I'm not max IVs on Salamence. And for. For whatever reason, he has Sludge Wave, and he actually poisons his own Weezing, which is kind of funny, even though it didn't really matter. Um, I go for Knock Off into Slaz. I'll get rid of that Focus Sash, and he, and because of the Hail, she, Slaz goes down. As he goes for Willow with some of my, my Salamence, some, some Salamence like to do carry Facade and Singles, but this is a double, so I'm glad I didn't get burned there. And also, I thought I thought it was gonna get burned because when you use King Shield and someone with Spew, you do get burned. But for whatever reason, that's not the case with Protect. Um, goes in Venusaur. Not really sure why. Um, as I pretty much just kill off the Weezing and double edge the Venusaur. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve. No, didn't even protect with Venusaur, even though it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, what did he, what did have a next turn? I guess we'll find out, but it doesn't really matter because we're on this turn. <sighs> so, I get, so, um, yeah, yeah, we'll just watch until the next turn. Also, he would, he was leftovers wheezing. I, I would imagine he would want to be Black Sludge instead because with that only heals poison types, it hurts other Pokemon. So, and you could you could get tricked. He goes in a Gengar. He just dies to the double edge. He can't kill po Pokemon because you focus blast and kill the Incineroar, or you kill off Salamence, but you can't kill both. And you would die to the other. So that's what that's the second battle. I'll go ahead and get into the third one. And this is for versus Jordan. He's got an Incineroar of his own. He's got a Noifer. He's got a Metagross, and he's got a Gyarados. And let's just get into the into this battle or this last battle. Versus Pokemon Trainer Gor Jordan, that I really do hate that Pikachu outfit. Why, why do people wear it? I don't know. Um, he's got he's he leads off with the Incineroar and Noivern. I thought he was gonna show off that Intimidate, but apparently not. And he's gonna go ahead and frisk my Magnet and my Waterium Z. And I would imagine he would want to scout for that, but he just I just go for the Z Water Z Aqua Tail anyway. And I double target the Incineroar because it's actually a threat with, even without Intimidate. Or a threat to me, I should say. And I just go for the Aqua Tail, Z Aqua Tail. And yeah. Um, also, I think I used the. No, I didn't. I didn't use it all three battles. But. I used it in both battles. I brought in, brought Superior in. Goes for the Shadow Ball. I'm not really sure why he has that. This is probably an in-game team. Sorry. Excuse me. Um, He co he shows off that nice shiny Metagross. The, and congrats to him for that. Uh, um, I do believe I got my own shiny Metagross. But I'm not, I'm not going to show it off. Unless you want me to. Because hey, there's no problem in that. He doesn't. He doesn't mega evolve or anything, so that leads me to believe it's not actually a mega metagross. And he just goes for the earthquake and kills off my top Coco. Also, Celesteela is is gonna prove to be a huge problem to him, even though I don't think it went down at all this 
or I don't think it went down in this battle. Um, and if it did, then it I think it definitely put in the work. Um, I go into Incineroar basically just because uh, I wanted to fake out the Metagross, I believe, and then just kill with the Noivern. <laughs> and I go for that, go for that fake out and heavy slam. He does show off to be the Mega Metagross, so I guess, I guess he just forgot to Mega Evolve. That's my guess. And he goes for the, or I go for the fake out. He doesn't protect or anything. So this still leads me to believe this is an in-game team. And he goes for the Shadow Ball and my Celesteel probably because he didn't have anything else to, f to hit it with. And I go for the Heavy Slam and pretty much just two hit KO this Noivern. And yeah. Also, I didn't really care. Um, this turn I decided to switch out into Superior Predicting Earthquake. And if he did predict that, I didn't really care because... I came back with and with Incineroar, faked it, faked it, um, into me the Garros and the Mega Mega Metagross because he doesn't have Clear Body anymore, and he, and um, yeah, and I just kill out the kill out the Metagross with Flamethrower and fake out, and he does go for that earthquake, so I do get the prediction right, um. And, uh, yeah, I just go for the Heavy Slam into no into Neuron because I don't really have anything else I wanted to do versus it. Um, I wasn't going to overprotect with Celesteel or anything. And I go for the Taunt into Gyarados, not really wanting to set up because even though I, even though it is a game, a game team, no one's to say you can't have Dragon Dance because that is a move that Gyarados learns through level up, I believe. And he just goes for the Ice Fang of Noise Superior. And I am hasty, so I don't really know how I live that. Maybe he's like, I don't know, modest. But he's just going to die through the flamethrower. And, um, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and get that Beast Boost. Special, de I believe that was Special Defense, but so it doesn't really matter. And... Uh, yeah, the electric tank terrain is going to disappear. It doesn't really matter. Um, and Noivern's going to go ahead and come in. I'm just going to frisk my leftovers. I already showed that. Watering games here already showed that. So that was kind of useless. Um, superior. I could have Superior go for protect. Just kind of scouting for what he wants to do. Goes for Shadow Ball and Celesteela. And he, get, he Ice Fangs my Superior. <sighs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and heavy slam into the Noivern, kill that off, and then, uh, next turn, I don't know, but I'm just gonna have you, let you guys watch until the next turn. And, uh, yeah. I go for the Leaf Storm into Garros, don't kill it off, but... It doesn't really matter because I just leech seed into it, and because I didn't really have anything else, Celesteel would want to do flame the or heavy slam and then protect. Um, he kills off my superior with the ice fang. Doesn't really matter again. I go for the leeching the Gyarados. That pretty much guarantees me the game. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, he's, Celesteel is going to go ahead and get that Leech Seed, and Garrett is, Gar, Gyarados is taunt wears off, and Cinderor goes ahead and comes in, actually no, and Cinder, I was guaranteed the game before Leech, I Leech Seed it, um, Leech Seed was just insults to the wound, and I fake out and go for the Heavy Sammy, and Celesteel picks up that wind, or win, I should say. Not wind. And, uh, yeah, that's the battles. So I do hope you enjoy. Please leave a like if you do. And hope you I hope you subscribe and hope that and I hope you enjoy the future video future videos and goodbye.